Welcome to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are going to explore the fascinating world of microorganisms. These tiny creatures are all around us, and they play a crucial role in our daily lives. So, let's dive in and discover the amazing world of microorganisms. What are microorganisms? Microorganisms are tiny living things that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. They can be found almost everywhere, from the soil to the air we breathe, and even inside our bodies. There are many different types of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that can be found in almost every environment. Viruses are tiny particles that can only be seen under a microscope and are known to cause diseases. Fungi are multicellular organisms that can be found in soil, on plants, and even inside our bodies. Microorganisms are everywhere. Did you know that microorganisms are found in almost every environment on Earth? From the freezing tundra to the hottest deserts, microorganisms are there, playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. The structure of microorganisms Microorganisms have a unique structure that allows them to survive and thrive in their environments. They have cell walls that provide support and protection, membranes that regulate what enters and leaves the cell, and organelles that perform specific functions. For example, mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell, generating energy for the microorganism. Did you know that microorganisms have unique structures that help them survive and thrive? For example, some bacteria have flagella that allow them to move, while others have spores that help them survive in harsh environments. How Microorganisms Affect Our Lives Microorganisms have a huge impact on our daily lives. They help us develop medicines, grow our food, and even make our favorite foods taste better. In medicine, Microorganisms are used to develop vaccines and antibiotics. In agriculture, microorganisms are used to fertilize crops and control pests. And in food production, microorganisms are used to ferment foods like yogurt and bread. Microorganisms make our favorite foods. Did you know that microorganisms are responsible for making many of our favorite foods? From cheese to bread, Microorganisms help to ferment and break down the ingredients, giving them their unique flavors and textures. How to keep microorganisms healthy But microorganisms can also make us sick if we don't take care of them. So, how can we keep them healthy? By practicing good hygiene, such as washing our hands regularly and cleaning our surfaces, we can help prevent the spread of illness. We should also avoid touching our faces and mouths, as this can help prevent the spread of germs. And if we are feeling unwell, we should stay home from school or work to prevent the spread of illness to others. Microorganisms can make us sick. Did you know that microorganisms can cause many different diseases? From the common cold to serious illnesses like tuberculosis, microorganisms can have a big impact on our health. Microorganisms in our daily lives From the medicine we take to the food we eat, microorganisms are there, helping us in many different ways. So, next time you take a pill or eat a piece of bread, remember the tiny heroes that helped make it possible. Microorganisms are also used in many different industries, such as biotechnology, where they are used to produce enzymes, antibiotics, and other important compounds. In agriculture, microorganisms are used to fertilize crops and control pests, helping to increase crop yields and reduce the need for pesticides. Even in the production of food and beverages, microorganisms play a crucial role, such as in the fermentation of yogurt, bread, and beer. These tiny organisms are truly the unsung heroes of our world, working behind the scenes to make our lives better and more enjoyable. That's it for today's video on microorganisms. 
We hope you learned something new and interesting about these tiny heroes of our world. Remember to always practice good hygiene and take care of the microorganisms that live inside and around us. Like, share, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more educational videos on science, literacy, and more. See you in the next video.